suppose you have two vectors vector a and another vector b let theta be the angle between these two vectors you have to find the resultant of these two vectors for that just construct a parallelogram like this such that the sides of the sides of this parallelogram is the vector itself that is if this is b the length here also b here also is b if this is a this also will be a uh, from the property of the parallelogram, you know opposite sides are equal. So if this is B, this also will be B. And similarly, if this is A, this also will be A. And this diagonal, this diagonal, call this as, call this as L, M, N, O. Call this parallelogram as L, M, N, O. And this diagonal L, M is actually the resultant of these two vectors call that as r so you need to find two things first one the length of ln or the magnitude of r then the angle this r make with the vector a we'll do that later finding alpha we'll do that later first you have to find the resultant magnitude of this resultant for that just extend this line lm furthermore from the point m like this and then drop a perpendicular from the point n let that perpendicular meet at the point p this one is theta so this one is 90 and from the properties of the parallelogram you know that opposite sides are parallel which means if this is theta this also will be theta so let's consider the triangle MPN. Consider, consider triangle MPN. We have cos theta is equal to cos theta will be adjacent side MP divided by hypotenuse MN. That is cos theta is equal to you know the value you, you don't know the value of MP, so just write MP divided by but mn is equal to b the magnitude of this vector b therefore mp is equal to b cos theta call that as equation number one similarly sin theta is equal to from the triangle mpn itself sin theta will be opposite side np divided by np np divided by mn that is sin theta is equal to np divided by mn is b therefore np is equal to b sin theta call that as equation number two so this length is b cos that is mp is b cos theta and this length is b sin theta this one b sin theta clear now let's consider that large triangle that is this one L P N. We have L P is equal to L P up to this length it is A, the magnitude of this vector A. So this whole length L P will be L M plus M P, which means A plus this length is B cos theta. B cos theta. And you know this N P is B sin theta. Also, the angle P is 90 degree. You know, the, the ln, the, the vector, sorry, this length ln represents R, the magnitude of the resultant vector R. So, you can definitely use the Pythagoras theorem here to find the value of R. 
clearly ln square is equal to ln square which which makes the hypotenuse ln square is equal to sum of the squares of other two sides that is lp square plus pn square ln is our r therefore r square is equal to lp is a plus b cos theta a plus b cos theta whole square plus pn is b sin theta whole square Now expanding this will be a square plus 2ab cos theta plus b cos theta whole square plus this one b sin theta whole square b sin theta whole square clear now expanding further you get a square plus plus 2ab cos theta plus b square cos square theta plus b square sin square theta this is equal to a square plus 2ab cos theta plus you can take this b square outside because they are common to both both these terms b square cos square theta plus sin square theta and you know the identity cos square cos square theta plus sin square theta amounts to 1 so this will be 1 so our equation will become r square equal to r square is equal to a square plus 2ab cos theta plus b square since this is equal to 1 b square into 1 on rearranging you get r square is equal to a square just write this b square as the second term b square plus 2ab cos theta therefore r is equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta so that's the magnitude of our resultant this is the resultant clear where a and b are the magnitudes of these two vectors and theta is the angle between them now you must find what is the what what the angle this r make with a what's the value of that angle for that again con again consider this triangle lpn here it will here it will be alpha taking the taking the tangent of alpha you will get that is tan alpha tan alpha will be opposite side by adjacent side here it is np divided by lp np is equal to b sin theta divided by lp is equal to a plus b cos theta therefore you know tan x is equal to y implies x is equal to tan inverse of y tan inverse y so if you take the tan to the right you will get alpha is equal to tan inverse b sin theta divided by a plus b cos theta so that's the angle this resultant make with a which will gives its which will give its direction so this resultant has a magnitude r equal to root of a square plus b square plus 2ab cos theta and a direction alpha equal to tan inverse b sin theta by a plus b cos theta.